Hi, this is Norma, and this is my six-week post-op. Um, I'm really kind of happy today because I thought I had stalled during the week. I guess I was a slave to my scale, and I was weighing myself every day in the morning and then again at night. And finally, I thought to myself, you know, <laughs> this is just crazy. I need to stop doing that. So... Um, I went to Arizona to watch the Eagles and the Cardinals game um, and uh, to visit my son out there in Buckeye and some other friends and I didn't have a scale so I got used to not weighing myself and uh, when I got back I weighed myself um, this morning before work and I had lost 10 no I'm sorry three pounds I wish I had lost ten more no I lost three pounds and uh, I was really happy because altogether that would be 43 pounds um, so three pounds from last time so now I weigh 212 pounds and my clothes well the new clothes are fitting fine and uh, I hope that I can stay in them for a little while because they're awful expensive um, I just wanted to say hello to my son Felix and thank him for um, his hospitality and um, for the nice shirt for my other son with the names of um, some Eagles um, football players. Um, they met over at the, the Scottsdale uh, Sports Bar and uh, my son was the bird man. He dressed up as a bird. And uh, he's an Eagles fan because he lived in Maryland when he was a sheriff. After he left the Navy, he liked it in the East Coast. So he became a sheriff and he was also a volunteer firefighter up in Connecticut. And then he moved out to Maryland and became a sheriff. And by the way, when 9-11 uh, when happened, he was there. He wanted to go out and help. And um, he stayed there for a while. And you know, those are one of the things that I love about him that he's always willing to volunteer his time and you know give back something to the community. I love working with kids and even now he's um, helping out with um, baseball uh, for little kids and uh, he's doing things for the um, the government and uh, they have neat websites where you can visit um, um, people who have been in the service and you know information about them their medals and where they were stationed and what they went through if they're alive or deceased and I'm sure that's a comfort for some of the family or some of the younger members in the family who want to find out a little bit more about their um, ancestors um, but anyways just thanks a lot Felix and Kaylin for having me over. It was wonderful visiting with my grandchildren that I don't get a chance to see that often. Lillian and Tyler. And then I visited a friend out there who was running the marathon. Wow! That was awesome. Um, she finished and I was so proud of her. It was so nice to see her. Tanya and David and her parents. Um, another thing while I was out there, it's not as easy as uh, it is here at home you know to make your food so um, I tried some food at fast foods because sometimes there was no other alternative and I did go to Wendy's and I bought the chicken wrap and it was um, what a dollar forty nine and I ate the grilled chicken inside I ate just about maybe a third of the chicken and I didn't eat the flour tortilla because that would be too many carbs but it was very satisfying, it tasted good, and it went down right. I thought I was worried. And I also went to um, uh, Del Taco, and I had a burrito there with just um, the beans and cheese, no rice. And uh, the same thing, I just eat the uh, beans and the cheese. And um, Taco Bell has a, I mean, Taco Bell, Del Taco, and then there's um, El Pollo Loco who has a really good burrito that uh, seems like it's um, really fresh and it tasted really good and it was very satisfying. So I really like that and it's a good thing you know, to know where you can go and get what uh, when you have um, the bypass. Um, 
you don't want to go and dump so anyways there you go if you guys are traveling and you want to try something that's a good thing also I today um, at work I had um, forgotten to pack up my lunch pail so um, I went and I got uh, from Taco Bell one of their tacos and I ate the inside of the meat with a little bit of the cheese and that was filling and it was very satisfying so um, well I'll keep it short because I'm just rambling on and on um, I wanted to say hi to Virginia and I hope you're doing better and feeling fine and saying hi to Brandy Wine um, I didn't forget about you and Allison thank you for those um, heads up on Starbucks I I went and I tried those uh, sugar-free lattes and they were very good and satisfying at least I got my my coffee and somehow it was decaf but it still tasted good and after drinking coffee all my life it's hard to stop drinking the coffee and um, but it was nice to be able to do it again even if it's just a little bit because you know as you know we are always going to try to get in that water and I've been doing really well with that and the vitamins the iron and the calcium uh, and the b12 uh, so what I do is for the B12, since I take it once a week, I take it on the surgiversary, the week surgiversary, which is Tuesday. And um, that way I don't forget. Um, but thank you all for listening to my ramblings. And, um, you know, today was Inauguration Day. And wasn't it fabulous to see history? My students and I were watching it with another teacher and I was just mesmerized at how wonderful and everything was. And then a little while ago I was watching them dance their first dance at a ball and it was just beautiful to see a couple like that and what a wonderful thing it is, our country. Okay, thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you later.